Good evening, Ray KD2IBP. Uh, just to get things started, this valve assembly uh, is to thermostatically control the uh, pool water temperature by allowing the water coming from the condenser side of the air conditioner to either go through a shower head, allowing the water to uh, the heat energy in the water to dissipate into the atmosphere a little bit more efficiently, or go through a direct feed that um, heats up the pool water from below. It will go directly to the bottom of the pool and that heat energy will be uh, swirling around in the pool and it will bring the pool temperature up to 80 degrees ideally. Uh, this assembly uh, has a thermostat which has a thermistor attached to it. This thermistor will uh, correct, uh, will detect the temperature of the pool water and determine which valve opens and which valve closes. All right, this is uh, a relay switch that is powered by this thermometer. When the thermometer reaches uh, 26 degrees Celsius, there or about, that's adjustable. I haven't fine-tuned it, but it will close the contact on this relay, causing um, this valve to open and this valve to shut. I have LED lights behind the discharge ports of the valve to help you get a visualization of which valve is open and which valve is closed. The blue light indicates the valve is open, no light indicates the valve is closed. So at 22 degrees Celsius, which is somewhere around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, I want this valve to open until the pool water temperature reaches about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and then at 80 degrees Fahrenheit the water will now go through the shower head allowing some of that heat energy to dissipate into the atmosphere thus bringing the temperature of the pool water down below or about 80 degrees Fahrenheit okay well this is adjustable the parameters are adjustable through this board uh, to fine-tune things uh, we'll, we'll get into that at a later time all right so these valves are motorized they're either powered open or powered shut there is no spring return energy has to be uh, applied to the valve uh, it's uh, polarity reversible so if you reverse the negative and the positive the positive to negative will determine whether or not the valve is being powered open or powered shut when it reaches its completely open position power will no longer be applied to that valve and it'll allow water to go through passively and vice versa when it's closed. When it's powered all the way closed, power will no longer be applied to the valve and it will just remain in that position fully closed until power is applied to open it up again. So at 22 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, 72 degrees Fahrenheit, I am now going to bring the temperature of this thermistor up to above 26 degrees, 26.6 degrees Celsius, which is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to use my body temperature, 98.6 hopefully. <clears throat> You'll see the temperature rising to the left. And there we go, 26.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The valve, uh, Celsius rather, the valve will open, allowing the water to go through the shower head. Okay and that shower head is going to allow the heat energy to evaporate into the air lowering the temperature of the water before it hits the pool all right so this is all in an effort to maintain approximately 80 degrees fahrenheit in the pool all right now you see my fingers off the thermistor and that temperature is now decreasing back down below 80 degrees okay so that's a uh, simulating that the water temperature of the pool is growing going below 80 degrees and then when it does go below 80 degrees, I want this valve to open and allow that condenser water to go back into the pool directly so that heat energy is distributed throughout the pool water, bringing the temperature up again. All right. Um, this is going to be a common manifold to, the, to uh, the bottoms of the valves. That's going to be the inlets. Uh, the arrows indicate the direction of water flow. So now the pool temperature dropped below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This valve will close and this valve will open, allowing the water to go directly into the pool again. 
to bring the temperature to pool water up. All right, and that's the gist of it. Uh, I'll get this thing piped out, and uh, we'll go into it a little bit further. Uh, if you want, I could send you pictures of how it's wired up, uh, give you a better idea on how this thing functions. But until then, KD2IBP73. Till next time.